Welcome back to the kitchen. Before I get into tonight's recipe, a quick story. So years ago when I was living in Fredericksburg, Virginia, uh, in a house that I don't think still exists, uh, my brother was telling me about how he and some friends had gone to a city in Canada. I want to say it was Toronto, could have been Montreal. But they had walked into this restaurant and ordered a dish that consisted, uh, in his description, of ramen noodles, peanut butter, and sriracha. And to me, that sounded really good. And so in my literalness, I decided, hey, I can make that. And let me tell you, mixing just straight peanut butter that you have melted down with sriracha at, does not work. So all these years later, I come across peanut sauce. And it strikes me that that's most likely what my brother had when he ate at that restaurant. So this is for my brother. In this bowl, I have some creamy peanut butter, some sambal, uh, a little bit of brown sugar, and then some grated ginger and garlic. And then I'm gonna add to it uh, water, rice wine vinegar, and sesame oil. And then I am going to also add some soy sauce. And all you have to do now is just give it a mix. And the nice thing about this is that you can make it ahead stick it in the fridge when you need it you have a late night hankering you feeling pretty happy after a couple drinks you can pull it out and you can make this dish now in this pot next to me uh, i have some pad thai noodles that have been soaking for about 20 to 25 minutes in some hot water um they don't they'll be fine they've cooked all the way and so all we're going to do now is go over to the stove and in a pan add the sauce and then finish with the noodles so over here at the stove I've heated up my pan on medium heat added the sauce I've also added some edamame and now that it's starting to warm up I'm going to take my noodles and I'm going to add them directly from the water and if you know anything about cooking with pasta, you want that pasta water because it's got all that good starch that will help the sauce stick to the noodles. And so now as we heat up the noodles, all of that starch that comes along with them should help that sauce stick nice and well. So I turned the heat up medium high. I'm giving it about five or six minutes. You can see the sauce is bubbling and it's also really sticking nicely to those noodles. And so now, let's go plate it up and enjoy it. Eleanor. <laughs> 